Kentucky trying to sneak across the ring. And, and there's the bell. Now he can do it. Southpaw, of course, the champion, Zaragoza, in the golden trunks. A couple of southpaws in round one. Banky opening up with a flurry. It's a long fight. It's a 12-rounder. And Banky took a shot to the jaw. Chick, Paul Banky said he's going to come out and exchange punches with Saragossa. I think that's a wrong fight to fight against this champion. And the most, the most dangerous part of the fight is the first two or three rounds. Well, I had a chance to ask him a question. We'll give you his answer at the end of this round or sometime in this fight. And let's see how he figured the fight might go. Good shot by Banky. Both men have very quick hands, obviously. Super Bantamweight World Championship on the line. The WBC version. Rudy Jordan, the third man in the ring, has been in many championship encounters. This fight was originally scheduled for February. But because of damage to an ear of Saragossa, here it is coming off tonight. And that's another thing, Chick. All the postponements, you, 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 you take off from training. It depends on if Paul has stayed training and kept his, his poise and kept his composure and, and stayed hungry for this fight. It's very, very important. Not only is Saragoza the champion of the WBC Super Bantamweight division, his opponent, Paul Banke, is ranked number four by the WBC and number two by the WBA. Saragossa with three-inch reach advantage. Saragossa making his third defense of the title. Rudy Jordan talking to them in harsh tones. Actually, what he wants them to do is break on his command, which they haven't done so far at all times. <laughs> Paul's telling him, come on, come yeah. on. Banky's doing a lot of talking in round one to the opponent. And the very calm and composed Saragossa disdaining it. I gave that an even round. Paul landed some shots early in the round, and Saragossa came back in the later round. You might review quickly the California must system. That's a 10-point must system. The winner of the round will get 10 points. The loser gets 9. The fighter getting knocked down will get 8. And, of course, the gentleman standing up will get 10. 12 rounds, Super Bantamweight Championship. The World Boxing Council belt is here and on the line. Who will wear it out of the ring? Saragossa as they make their third title defense. Banky, of course, has got a title. He won the Forum Super Welterweight Tournament. Got $100,000 for the win. The win. Paul Banky's inviting him to throw to the body. He's counterpunching very well, but Saragossa will have nothing to do with that. Good shot to the face by both men. The initial blow by Banky. Banky drives two shots to the midsection. Paul appears very confident for this fight, Chick, but he, hopefully he's not overconfident. He's got to get, get in, get out, throw his shots, and score punches. That's why this, this sport is called boxing. You have to outbox your opponent. And sometimes out thinking. That's right. That was pretty low, and uh, Sarazosa. I believe was given a warning by Rudy Jordan. Maybe not. 
Jordan's back was to us, but he rushed to the scene in a hurry. He gave him a dirty look. That's it. A raised eyebrow. And again, Banky invites him to hit him in the midsection. That I'm tough as a board here. Up and down, Paul. Banky had 175 amateur fights, and he's only 24 years old. He won 150 of them. Banky continues to chatter away. Banky was born in Blythe. Grew up in Azusa, California. Graduated from Azusa High School. All right, second round is over. The entire card tonight has made this crowd just about as joyous as you could possibly do. The referee, Rudy Jordan, was over visiting with one of the judges. The bell had not sounded. Both fighters came out, and they did start the clock. So there's been a miscalculation somewhere. Well, If the bell sounded, we didn't hear it. Well, I heard a bell, Chick, but of course, I've had 73 professional fights. But uh, I, hit, I did hear the bell that I guess evidently Rudy Jordan didn't. Well, Paul, the, was ready to, Paul was ready to fight. In the truck, they are saying that uh, they heard the bell also. And the clock ran it down. They were 15 seconds off of the clock by the time the men actually were called to order. Fighting out of the corner now, the champion, Saragoza. He knows he's got a young wild bull here tonight, and he wants to be the Toreador and take care of him. Let's see what happens. Banky applying most of the pressure. How did you score round two? I gave that round to Paul Banky. Yeah, box kind of worth it, like he's doing now, beginning of the third round, Chick. He's counterpunching very well. I think his confidence is, is bigger than this great Western Forum. Bob Richardson obviously chartered a boxing program for this fight for Banky. And so far, it looks like the youngster has really followed orders. The chant in the background is Banky, Banky, and Saragoza stopped him. He caught him coming in with a punch. Of Saragoza's 34 professional wins, 18 by knockout. Banky, half of his 16 by knockout. Banky's posing a little bit here, Chick. He gets inside, he poses, and Saragossa's starting to hit him with some shots, and they're unnecessary. In other words, unnecessary that he's accepting them. Exactly. Saragossa yeah. complained to the referee, and there was no acknowledgement from the referee, Rudy Jordan, that Banky was holding behind the head. Pressure on the fighters, there's pressure on the judges, there's pressure on the referee to keep the bout in order. The referee does not cast the ballot. Some people think that's the way they should decide draws when the cards are added up that make a draw out of a championship fight. There's certainly got to be a tiebreaker of some sort. All right, final second. At the forum, we go to round number four and through three. Ruben Castillo has it like this. I've got a score at 30 to 29 in favor of Paul Banky. The last round was an even round on my card, 10 10. So you've had two even rounds out of the three. Absolutely. The first and the third. Now the champion is worn, no holding. Oh, there's a cut, Chick, over the right eye yep, he's bleeding. in the corner of the champion. The champion is bleeding quite a bit and getting worse by the second. It's running down all the way to the chin now along his right cheek. Oh, I hope this fight doesn't end on a cut. Oh, the cut is not over the eye. It's to the outside of the eye. 
but nonetheless, it is a bleeding cut. Not just a little nick, it is open. I don't think that Zaragoza knows it yet. He hasn't rubbed it once. I don't think he knows he's bleeding, but he will in a second, because there's another left hand right on the cut from Paul Banke. Huge band. Oh, there's a left hand that really spun the head of the champion. And that was right on top of the cut, too. Now they're calling for butting. That is, Zaragoza is in his corner. There's no indication that the cut was caused by any butt. It's a tough fight to referee. Some of the fans that aren't close to the ring like we are privileged to be, and there's a left hand on the cut again. Probably don't see the cut, but they'll see blood all over the shoulder as Sarah goes right above us as he's wrestled to the ropes. By Paul Banky, who gets a warning from the referee, Rudy Jordan. I think that's a great thing that Paul did, although he got warned for it, Chick, so he can show Zaragoza to teach him some respect or get some respect from Paul Banky. Banky is in charge right now, and that cut isn't helping. They've got to have a great cut man in the corner of Zaragoza. And you know, oh, another shot right on the cut. The that left hand of Banky is working just methodically and so effectively. And, and the champion knows he's in trouble. And it's almost like he's pinpointing that shot because every shot has landed right on that cut. The amazing thing to me is that Zaragoza, if indeed he knows the cut is there, has not rubbed it once. And usually a fighter by instinct will do that. Well, check it's on the, it's on the corner, so maybe it's not dripping into his eye. It isn't. 20 seconds. No question about that. And maybe he can't feel it going down his cheek. I think he's got other things to worry I about. Do too. That left hand of Banky is so quick, and he's throwing combinations of two and three punches. At the end of the round, we'll stay here with our camera crew and go over to Daniel Zaragoza's corner. That's the end of the round. Be careful. Again, challenging after the bell, and Rudy Jordan has not liked it. Now we go to round number five. And you know, and I'll, I'll let a former boxing great, Ruben Castillo, explain it to you. When you're a boxer, your corner will tell you, you've got to cut, go after him now. That's absolutely right. But then again, Chick, he's the champion, and he knows that Banky's got to go take that title away from him. Good point. Excellent. Did that prevail recently at Las Vegas? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Round five, 12 rounder, the WBC World Championship on the line. Super Bantamweights. Half a pound difference in weight. 122, Zaragoza is the heavier. Zaragoza is the former NABF Super Bantamweight Champion, too. Oh, again, that left hand landing consistently as though he were aiming a gun and landing right on the target as he hits that cut. You know, earlier earlier in the fight, Chick, Paul Banky was throw, throwing those punches straight, but now he's looping those punches, and that's, what been, that's what's been effective for him in this fight. He's got to loop that left hand over the right hand of Zaragoza to land on that cut. The cut has not been worsened in this round, at least to the naked eye. There he goes. Now he's going to counter punching, Chick, and that's exactly what he's got to do to win this world title. Oh, he straightened Banky up with a left hand, and Banky comes roaring back. And again, he absorbs a left to the face. Sarah goes to counter punching beautifully and better than at any time in this fight so far. That's right. He was letting Paul take command, and he was counter punching himself. No blood, no blood coming out of the cut yet. Now Banky's going to get a warning because about four times in the fight, he's grabbed him behind the neck and flung him across the ring. Great referee by Rudy Jordan, I'll say. See, he's posing, Chick. He can't do that. And he took a left him. hand right on the chin. This has not been Banky's best round yet. Banky is posing and acting a little bit cocky out there. That's right, Chick. And inside of Wilson, we know his knockout ratio. He can punch. Paul should go in, throw his punches, and get out. 
He has quit doing that so far in this round. This is only the fifth round. Could he be tiring? We'll find out when we come back because this round is history. Going to the sixth round, I think it's important to let you know that the cut in the corner of the eye of the champion Saragossa was not opened in that round, did not bleed a drop. Boy, that's a great job by the corner. How you got it scored? I've got it 49 to 48, still in favor of Paul Benke. He lost that last round on my scorecard. Let's see if he can pick up this action again, Chick, and outbox Saragossa like he was doing earlier. Yeah, he counter punch chick. He's very both men are getting worn from time to time. That was a low blow. It was a low blow. I say it goes up, but both men are being worn from time to time for holding behind the neck. Still no bleeding from the cut. And Sarah goes up. Come on, Paul, let's get busy. Both men are sweating profusely, particularly Banky. And of course, it's good to sweat. If you're not sweating in the sixth round of a world championship fight, there's something wrong with your glands. <laughs> That's for sure. A lot of the talking that Banky was doing in the first three rounds has subsided. Seems it appears that Daniel Zaragoza is starting to gain control of this fight as Paul Banke poses and he's getting hit with unnecessary shots. I'm telling you, he just, he's letting Zaragoza take control, Chip. Started last round. At the end of this round, we'll go over and visit the corner of Banke and see what Bob Richardson has to say to him. Oh. Sarah goes around on your card. Absolutely right. I've got this fight scored even now, Chick. 58 to 58. For two successive rounds now. They have not seen a drop of blood come out of the corner of the eye. The cut suffered by Saragossa earlier. You know, Paul inviting Saragossa to throw the body shots. Yeah. You've got to leave that machoism at home and get out here and take care of business. Oh, you throw sure your do. punches, get out, and outbox your opponent. Mix them up. Stay right there and get this. Up and down. The cut occurred in the fourth round. Paul has not been off of the soles of his shoes for three rounds now. He's standing pretty flat-footed, contrary to what he was doing earlier. And, it, and it's funny, Chick, that that's, that's what uh, his fight plan was. He said he's going to exchange punches. And as we said earlier, that's not the fight or the fighter that we've seen in the past, Paul Banke. We, he's he's uh, always jeopard, always dependent upon his, his speed. And this is the time to use it. Zaragoza has had three good rounds in a row now, including this one. And again, the corner of Banky told him, you're standing around, you're fighting flat-footed. And look at him. That doesn't mean he can't change his style and do what he did earlier. Sarah Goza is a crafty veteran. 
And that means very good and lots of experience. Well, he's throwing punches, and he knows that... that oh, oh, there goes the mouthpiece of Saragossa. Saragossa has not got wobbly legs yet, but the mouthpiece definitely was knocked out. Now, Saragossa again claiming that he was butted. And the crowd highly partisan in favor of Banky. Booing it. Oh, it's starting to bleed again. That's another cut. That's the top of the head is bleeding. Then that Zaragoza was. might have been butted. The top of his head is bleeding, and you don't get many punches to the top of the head to cut you. No, not even a bare fist. A head, of, that's the only cut. That's the only cut a high on top of the head can be caused by a head butt, and that was definitely a head butt. Now, where this new cut is, we can't see because it's in the hair. However, I don't believe it's any kind of a cut that would ever stop a fight. Paul Benke just landed a good right hook chick that hurts Zaragoza. When he knocked his mouthpiece out, that hurt him too. And this is a fine recovery now by young Banky. He jars the head of Zaragoza. End the round. Banky 68 to 67. There is a mark, an abrasion under the right, uh, the, yeah, the right eye of Zaragoza. A new mark has shown now. In addition to the cut, there is a mark under the eye on the cheek. Now, I'm not going to call it a cut yet. Now, Paul has turned this fight around, Chick. He's got to go after him now. He's got to reach behind, reach in that bag and pull something out of it. Banky leading it on your card, 68-67. That's a throwdown. That's not a knockdown. Zaragoza is not able to counterpunch like he was in the last few rounds. That was right on the cut. The that cut on top of the head is bleeding more profusely than the eye cut for Zaragoza. Banky has not been cut. Banky opens the cut with a slashing left hand. A left cross, if you like. Chick, I noticed one thing about Zaragoza now. He's throwing one punch at a time, trying to take Banky out. Paul should throw combinations and get out of there. If you were cut as bad as the champion is, I think his plan is well understood. Get one shot home that'll take him out. Of course, you've still got, after this round, another 12 minutes of boxing after this round. So it's a long way to go, if it goes the distance. Good left hand by Saragossa. Shook the head of Banky. A minute left in the round. And I, I really don't mean to sound biased, but commenting so much on Banky, but we're neighbors. No, I'm just kidding. Paul's Picadu defense is picking off a lot of shots. scored by Banky. All right, final second of the round. All right, we go to round number nine. That means 12 minutes of boxing left. At the end of the last round, Sarah Zoga walked in a circle to avoid any body or verbal contact with Banky after the round was over. And Banky stepped around and got in front of him and bodied him a little bit. And the referee quickly yanked him back to his corner. All right, here we are in round number nine. All the streams of blood now from the top of the head and from the corner of the eye on Saragossa have been taken away. And the question is now, will his title be taken away by this 24-year-old Quail Valley man? Good left hand by Saragoza. Didn't seem to affect Banky. Ooh. 
Banky said some of the fights that I had in my 16 and 3 record and my amateur fights, he said I wasn't the real guy. I was having a problem with drugs. Well, not oh, that was oh. down a great combination. A left and a right hand, and the champion gets up on wobbly legs. Beautiful combination by young 24 year old Paul Banky. Now, let's see if he can close it. And he can't get careless, Jim, because Zaragoza does have a punch. Banky just proved that he had a left and a right hand, too. Beautiful combo. The champion in big trouble here in round number nine. And he's about to go down again for the second time in the round. That was the first knockdown of the fight. He's got a cut opened over his left eye now, Chip, right on the eyebrow. Zaragoza does. It's close to his nose, the bridge of his nose. Banky does not want to get overly excited, throw too many punches, but he wants to throw a couple of good ones and it might take the champion out. He's got Zaragoza right where he wants him at this minute with 55 seconds left in the round. Right above us, they're fighting. A shot to the jaw. Zaragoza's knees buckle again. He's a game champion. See, he's still answering with some answering punches, Chuck. He's, he's throwing them well. He's got a cut inside of the nose under the left eye. The other cut's outside of the right eye. Boy, has a table turned for this fight for Paul Banky. That well, knockdown was a big knockdown for him, too. However, let's give Banky credit. After going on vacation for a long and a half, he came back, and he has done a great job. And the champion doing a heck of a job just staying on his feet. We'll stay here with you. The seconds tick away in round number nine. It's a 12-rounder. The WBC championship on the line. The super bantamweight division. And the face of Zaragoza is a mask of Ruben Castillo's card, 88-84. Is Banky nine minutes away from the WBC championship? Or can Zaragoza pull a miraculous finish? Knock the man down once. Maybe knock him out. Retain his title. And this is third title defense. Well, Saragos is a very, very experienced fighter. He's the champion, as we said. He's been in wars like this before, so this is nothing new to him. Again, Banky Warren, don't throw him around the ring. A little mouse under the right eye of Banky now. Banky is fighting, for the most part, a masterful fight. He's got everything going his way, Chick, as we said earlier, but like we can't take nothing away from the champion. He's got the tools to put his lights out, to throw a monkey wrench into his evening. This is the 10th WBC World Championship fight at the Great Western Forum since 1985 and the sixth in the last two years. This is becoming one of the fight capitals of the world. And Banky does it in showboating. Taunting now. Get a, took a good right hook to the chin for climbing around. Sarazoga having a good round here. Throwing and landing a lot of punches. And temporarily, at least, Banky quit the tap dancing. 55 seconds left in round number 10. Chick Hearn with Ruben Castillo from the Great Western Forum. We're live on Prime Ticket Television. And Rudy Jordan steps between them. I think Paul is given this way around, and I think it's crazy. I think he should go out there and stick and move. But the champion wanted to win this round, and he did. So there was a shot to the belly, and a butt warning goes to Saragossa. And again, Banky talks to him. Second round, 10 of our 12-round championship bout.
Gitaunting the champion. And by the way, I'd like to add it right here. I've never known a more gentlemanly champion than Saragossa. Through 10 rounds, Ruben Castillo has it scored like this on his unofficial card. 97 to 94, I gave that last round to Daniel Saragossa. There is a shot to the jaw on the break, thrown by the champion, Saragossa. If you're Saragossa, you don't have to have a fortune teller let you know that you're behind. He knows he's behind. He was knocked down, among other things. He's been fighting a bad cut outside of the right eye since the fourth round. In the seventh round, he sustained a cut on top of the head. In the last round, a cut inside under the left eye along the nose ridge. I believe at this juncture, Ruben, correct me if you think I'm wrong, I think that Banky believes that he can take anything that the champion can hit him with. And that, that could work to his disadvantage, Chick. Right. And I'm sure he does think he can take everything, but unless he experiences that canvas, then he, he won't be able to, Chick. I mean, he's, he's fought a perfect fight, and, and he's letting it all go to waste. He lost the last round, and he's losing the, this part of this round. His confidence is bigger than this forum, but he ought to exercise that in a different manner. A oh, solid left hand of the jaw of Banky. And again in this round, Saragossa has dominated. But he's far behind in the card. Three points, and that's a lot, as we have only three more minutes after this round to fight. I think Chick, because of that knockdown, Paul thinks that he's got this. He's got this fight in the bag, but it's not true. Now with uh, 45 seconds left to fight here in round 11, and another full round to go. Good shot by Banky. It looks like there might be an abrasion below and above the right eye of Banky now. Highly partisan crowd. Remember, Saragossa comes from Mexico City, and Banky is from Southern California. Final seconds. Round 11. Zaragoza is not going to be happy. Even if he loses, he's not going to be unhappy with the loss. He's going to be unhappy with the fact that this youngster has embarrassed him on occasions tonight with things not associated with boxing, really. If Banky wins the title, one day he'll have it on the line. And one day another guy will come along. They always do, don't they? There's always somebody better, Chick. Zaragoza now knows he's got to knock him out. I would think he knows that. And maybe maybe our card is wrong. You got him 106, 104. That's right. I've got that coming into the, into the 12th round. You gave the 10th and the 11th round to Zaragoza. That's quite a tribute to a 31-year-old guy who's been battered around the ring like he has tonight. Conditioning has been a big factor for both men. Looking into the corner of Saragossa, his manager looks very, very concerned. As well he should be. Jerry Romano and Susan Stratton producing, directing. I'm Chick Hearn along with Ruben Castillo. Wherever you are, I hope you've enjoyed it. And we got a lot more coming up for you tonight on Fight Night at the Forum. A lot more. Good jab with the right hand by Benke. Been nonstop action for the most part. minute and a half left in the fight. Either Banky will become a champion or for the third time since he got the crown, Daniel Saragossa will have defended it successfully. He looks very fatigued, Saragossa does, Chick. I, I think if Paul Banky runs a flurry, he could have him in the canvas once again. 
The crowd is in a boisterous state. Many of the fans standing. And Saragossa looks tired. And who wouldn't be? We've got a minute left. Final minute. The champion retains the belt or it moves to a new hand. Paul Banky, Quail Valley, the All Heart Boxing Center, Riverside, California. A man who has beaten the drug habit and now many people think is on the verge of beating the WBC Super Bantamweight Champion, Daniel Saragossa. 15 seconds. It's not over until the official cards have been passed in by the judges and the ring announcer will make the decision. It's all over now, so far as the 12 rounds are concerned. The split decision winner and still champion, Daniel Zaragoza. Zaragoza got the decision, a split decision. I'm sure you didn't believe me when I told you that our man, Ruben Castillo... Thank <laughs> you.